Hi everybody, my name is Rohit. Today we'll be creating an advanced Spring Group add-on. For this we'll require two projects. One project where we'll create the add-on and second project where we'll test the add-on. Now I'm creating the add-on project. It's very simple. You use the add-on command and you say add-on create advanced top level package. And you say form dot training dot my first add-on. The last name is the name of your add-on. And I'll say my project name as my first add-on. And I'll put a description over here. My first add-on. Done. The add-on is created, but there's a bug in Spring Group which stops you from compiling the code. We will fix that bug. The bug is into a file called as meta data provider. Search for two semicolons and that's it. Remove one semicolon and you're done. Now let's go back to the blue shell. Over here, I'll simply do perform assembly. Perform assembly will package the entire project into a jar, which is an add on. In order to install the add-on, you need to use a command called as OSGS start. OSG is a building framework for Spring Group. Now, even though over here it's mentioned that it's a zip file, you can safely assume it is a jar file, and you say OSGS start URL jar. This actually installs the add-on. So you'll see I've installed my first add-on over here. It shows it over here. And if I say my first add-on, you can see it coming over here. That means the add-on is installed successfully. Let's quickly move on to the second project where we will see the effects of this add-on. So I'll quickly create a project, top level package, this project project name, test project, create a project, let me add a persistence layer, hibernate and a database, it's not really necessary but just to show you how we will inject, how we will use the plugin. So now I'll just create a simple class, entity class, model of sample. Sorry. Sample. Now let's just quit this for a moment. Go to the POM file, you'll see that there is nothing called as batch if I search for batch. What this iron does is it create it basically injects a maven dependency in the POM file for spring batch. The second th thing is if you go to src main java from project sample for java you will see that it only has a couple of spring add-ons which is root java bean root string and root entity. Our add-on will add one more at the rate root add-on to this. Let's see how this thing works. Now when I say my first add-on setup, it injects the dependency in the POM file. And when I say first add-on add minus type, it will basically put things over here. Now what just happened is if you look at this class, it has added do my first add-on. So it successfully added that add-on. And if you see if you see POM, it added the batch dependency. That's all. This is the tutorial. Thank you.